Hello, in this video I'll be showing you how to check your electrical circuit homework problems with a powerful circuit solver tool that many professional engineers use. First, I'm going to walk through a basic circuit problem, then I'm going to show you how to download a very popular circuit simulator, and finally demonstrate how to use that in combination with a very powerful circuit solver tool. Let's start by taking a look at this typical circuit problem that you might find in a physics textbook. So in the problem, uh, as shown on the screen, we're given the values of R1, R2, R3, as well as the voltage of the battery, Vb. Now we're told to find the current at R1, R2, and R3. So first, we're going to want to find the equivalent resistance of R2 and R3. So we know the expression 1 over Rp equals 1 over R2 plus 1 over R3. And solving for Rp gives Rp equals R2 times R3, R2 plus R3. If we plug in the values for the resistances, we get that Rp equals 2 ohms. So in other words, equivalent resistance of R2 and R3 here can, um, is equal to 2 ohms. So uh, now that we want to find the current at R1, we can easily do so. Uh, because the current at R1 is simply the voltage at B divided by the total resistance, which is in this case R1 plus Rp. Um, and if we substitute in that value that we just got, we have R2 plus R3 over R2 plus R3. And simplifying a tiny bit, we have Vb times R2 plus R3 over R1, R2, plus R1, R3, plus R2, R3. And substituting the values in, um, we get that the current at R1 is 3 amps. So we're one-third way through this problem. Um, and now we're just looking for the current at R2 and R3. So in order to solve for current at R2 and R3, we note that they're in a parallel structure, uh, so the voltages across both branches are the same. Uh, we can express that as voltage R2 equals voltage R3, and by Ohm's law, we have the current at R2 times R2 equals the current at 3 times R3. Uh, we can also take use of the fact that the current coming in from R1 is the current going into R2 and R3. So uh, we have current at R2 plus current at R3 uh, equals the current at R1. And we can multiply both sides of this equation by R3. Um, and we're left with this expression. So if we know in this equation and this equation, both R3 times current at R3 will appear. And if we add the two and cancel out terms, um, we can solve for R2, uh, the current at R2, I mean. Um, and we get the current at R2 is R3, R2 plus R3 times the current at R1. And if we plug in the values, we already know the current at R1 is 3 amps, so we get the current at R2 is 2 amps when we substitute. And by the same token, we have the current at R3 is equal to R2 over R2 plus R3 times the current at R1. And when we substitute the values in, again, we get 1 amp. So now that we solve this problem, uh, the current at R1, R2, and R3, the next step is downloading an application to draw the schematic. Uh, now that will be used in the process of checking our algebraic and numerical answers that we just got. So I'm going to go to Google and just type in LT Spice. Should be the first link that appears. Accept and proceed, scroll down, press download. I'm using a Mac in this case. 
LTSpice is a very reputable application, so don't worry about getting any computer viruses. Just follow along with the given directions to complete the download. Our application and search LT Spice. And go ahead and start a new blank schematic. Press the keys function F2, open up the components list. Start by adding a battery, command R to rotate, add in three resistors from the problem, function F3 to add the wires right click to change the values according to the problem so for R1 is 2 ohms R2 is 3 ohms R3, 6 ohms, for the voltage of the battery, it is 12 volts. For the tool to work, you also have to specify a reference point as the ground. So I'm going to extend this wire a little bit. Press G to add the ground. The last step is to export this schematic to a very useful online tool. Now we're going to go ahead and save this file as circuit 1. And the next step is to right click, press view, then press spice netlist. The netlist will be used as the input to the online analysis tool. Now we're going to head over to the website. The web address is circuit, circuitnav.pythonanywhere.com. I'm going to go ahead and browse for the netlist that we just created, circuit1.net. Open it, upload. It says it was uploaded successfully. It's going to give us an option of choosing which parameter to display. So let's select the current at R1 and then we can compare the results with the answers that we previously came up with. Get results. So this is the online tools results both algebraic and numerical. And now, here were our results for current at R1 that we previously came up with. And side by side, we see that they are exactly identical. As you can see, this tool can be used to further analyze more complicated circuit problems. For more information, I've added a link to CircuitNav's own channel. Hopefully this tool will help you check your homework problems. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this video helpful.